The St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority has taken a major step to improving solid waste disposal on island. Roger Varro, Lawrence reports. Given the thrust towards St. Lucia's new waste management system, a policy decision was adopted to make St. Lucia landfill free by 2030. The first phase towards achieving this included termination of landfilling at the VF4 Solid Waste Management Facility in 2019, which was well beyond its operational limits. The next phase was commissioning and operationalizing four pyrolysis units at the VF4 transfer facility. It runs on a pyrolysis where you have oxygen uh, brought in to interact with uh, initial flame for a start. Chamber temperature goes up. The chambers can reach up to 1,100 degrees Celsius. 45 minutes, 60 minutes, your waste will be done. In that inter intervening process, the waste will be uh, processed in the chamber and then emissions will be brought through the, the scrubber system and through the filtration system and via this, this novel system that's patented, what you get out is vapour and stripped of its emissions. The St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority aims to decentralise waste disposal in the south. The operating cost for one of those machines were, is estimated in the range of about 5,000 Eastern Caribbean dollars per month. That's with labour and electricity, water and all of those things. On a yearly basis, even if it costs more than operating at the landfill, however, you don't ever need that battle of trying to find another 30 acres of land in the next 20 years. Commissioning of the units and training personnel to operate them was undertaken in January. This site will be used for waste disposal and data collection, which is expected to cause changes in the residential waste assortment system. It will reduce the waste volumes down to, to so little that it will, you could actually use the current facilities that we have almost for forever because you're pretty much getting rid of ash to a point right now. The implementation of this technology will reduce the quantity of waste being transferred to the north, the cost of transportation, and the impact to the Deglo landfill. The remaining phases will establish facilities at various locations around the island to treat waste closer to the point of generation, effectively reducing transportation of waste. The Curina pyrolysis technology is relatively simple and most of the parts and processes can be managed by local engineers and service personnel. For the Government Information Service, Rajvaro Lawrence reporting.